Okay, so I just want to make sure I got this in, too. Um, damn near every weekend, I would have someone from the neighborhood. Uh, one of these houses right here. These three houses. Uh, that's, the, like, the only house on the block that isn't involved in it. But that house over there on that side, that side. People live directly in front of me. All of these people... Uh, like watch the street for cops to come so they can come fuck with my house and i've never really called the cops over it but i have chased them off quite a few times and i've never really said much about it to the cops except for in the beginning when i told the cops that i was being gang stalked and that they stole my phone and that they're doing all kinds of crazy shit to me and they they said do you have any proof of it and you know how hard it is to get actual proof, like so, so, solid proof of this shit. So my sister did text me a bunch of stuff about uh, her knowing, you know, shit that she shouldn't know. And um, actually, my ex-girlfriend, Melissa, erased the shit off my phone. So it was my sister texting me. And she's, she's saying really out-of-pocket shit that she shouldn't even... She shouldn't even fucking, because I wasn't posting anything about this at first either. So she shouldn't even have known that I was being gang stalked. But she kept on saying that it's funny watching me fall down the rabbit hole and go crazy. So that's just one of the many texts that she sent me being drunk, drunk texting me. Like I'm, you know, of course, obviously I'm her brother. So she thinks about me when she's drunk, So when she's regretting her life. But, um, I haven't really said much about my neighbors all doing this to me, but all of them are. Okay, and that's, that's another part of the investigation that I've been trying to do with these cameras. I got, man, so many cameras in my house, and you know what they did to my cameras? Look, made sure they don't work. They changed the password in my, in my thing, so I can't get in it. They destroyed the SD card on this, knowing that I uh, I don't have money to buy a new SD card getting right out of jail. And they changed the password on these ones, too. So I couldn't get the recording from anyone else. But um, if there's anybody who knows how to help with that, I'd appreciate that, too. The administration had just completely misread the political situation. But they, they did a lot of things, and it's not really... The American public a lot was I can to prove, but they were the ones here when it was happening. And my safe here. And safe has been destroyed. That's an easy argument to make politically. You can, that. Uh, so you can well, make that in your sleep. My safe has been destroyed while I was in jail. The biggest loser in all of this. The smashed pieces so I can get in it for no and reason. Because there was nothing in my safe science. that, I mean, was needed for me then, to get out of jail or be in jail or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Uh, this shit is crazy, and I just want to make sure I documented that too, as well. And I got uh, evidence of them video tampering with these cameras. These are four cameras I got on the roof, and they fucked up the connection with all of them. So, because they were on my roof, like I said. It's, it's pretty crazy. I don't know, man. It's pretty fucking crazy. I'm sure you've gotten a few calls from neighbors that aren't involved with it that uh, someone was on my roof. But, like I said before, the police department is also in on it. At least the ones in this neighborhood here. I don't know what the fuck to do. But anyways, good, good thing I documented that.